All right, I'm Lieutenant Pavel with the Houston Police Department Night Command. Uh, approximately 8.57 p.m., officers were called to a shooting that just occurred right here behind me. Uh, officers arrived and discovered that one male victim, uh, he was uh, dead inside the vehicle. Uh, another uh, victim uh, was able to get out of the vehicle and ran in front of the apartment complex that's here behind me and collapsed. He was transported to the hospital as well and he passed away at the hospital. Uh, so the two victims that we have, they're uh, early, in the early 30s, uh, males. Um, and uh, the preliminary information that we have today is that uh, the victims were driving in a, a pickup truck uh, that you see right behind me. They were driving southbound. Uh, right when they arrived in front of this apartment complex right here in front of me, Asbury Apartments, that's when the suspect uh, pulled out, out of the apartment complex. He was driving a, a, a gray SUV. He's a black male, uh, thin built. He started shooting towards their vehicle, uh, hitting the vehicle a few times. They lost control and ran into the apartment complex over here. Uh, that's when he got out of the car, the suspect, and got a little bit closer and took a few more shots. Uh, shooting at the uh, victims. That's the information that we have right now. We got homicide uh, here as well at the scene. They're going to do a full investigation. They're looking for any evidence, talking to uh, witnesses, also looking for any uh, camera footage to see exactly what occurred. That's the information that we have. It's still early, uh, but as soon as we get more information, we will release it to you guys. If you guys have any other questions that I might be able to answer. So far, no motive, I guess. No, there's no motive. We don't know. Ex we're still trying to figure out exactly what occurred. That's what we're talking to all the witnesses. Uh, but we do have two uh, uh, double homicide, unfortunately. So both victims were shot while the vehicle was in motion, you think? So yeah, I mean, uh, both of them were shot, and one of them was able to get out of the vehicle, like I said. Uh, but then he collapsed uh, a few feet away from the vehicle. and. Uh, HFD showed up, transported him to the hospital, and he passed away at the hospital. And one is deceased in the truck? Excuse me? And one person is deceased in the truck? Yeah, one we have deceased in the truck, and then one is deceased at the hospital. And they're both adult males? Two adult males in their early 30s. Okay. Uh, is the driver the one who's still on the scene? Or? Yes, the driver is still in the vehicle, and uh, the, the passenger is the one that was able to get out, and he, did, he died at the hospital. No one else injured when the vehicle crashed into the building? No, no, no one no one else was injured. And there were people outside that saw the accident, you saw the shooting? Yeah, we do have a, a few witnesses uh, that, that saw the whole scene, and uh, Homicide will be able to uh, talk to them and try to get more information from them exactly what occurred. So it doesn't look like a road rage, right, because the vehicle pulled out of the apartment? No, no. It's, yeah. it, as they were driving, it looked like the the a male suspect was waiting for them, or possibly knew them, or you know. So it wasn't just uh, random where he just started shooting. Uh, we don't believe that, but I mean, like I said, it's still early in the investigation. We're trying to figure exactly what the motive was. Thanks, Lieutenant.